Hello again, YouTubers and Beybladers. 24-7 here again for Beyblades 24-7 with another Beyblade unboxing video brought to you by ToyGamingEmporium.com. For today's unboxing, we finally have Flash Sagittario 230WD. It is BB-126 and part of the 4D system. As the guess the right joke is that Kenta and his Bey have now reached puberty. Take a look at the back here. Give you a look at the pieces there. If you care, there are the stats. I won't go over those in detail. And the two modes are stamina mode and attack mode. Attack mode looks more oblong, while stamina mode is more balanced looking. Although like the top and bottom looks like they don't match up quite right or whatever. Give you a close look, look there. That recommended combo is something with Nemesis and then some other combos there, which I obviously can't read. So, I guess we'll just get this opened up. There's a, a stamina type bay. It's a Karatomi, official bay. If you don't know, always look for the D-Rights logo. Make sure the print's good, Japanese writing, all that stuff. Otherwise, it's likely counterfeit and a cheap bootleg. The text should always look nice and fine and not like blurred or anything. So, we'll get this opened up. And if you're looking to buy any Flash Sheds material, it should be in stock in our Amazon store, Toy Game Emporium. With, by the end of the week, they are on the way to Amazon right now so they can be fulfilled by Amazon. They should be checked in by Thursday or Friday at the latest, I would say. Uh, and also, I actually have them added on toygameemporium.com now as well. Although, at least as of when recording this, still have an issue with the international shipping on the website where international customers are being given, given a priority mail as their only shipping option, which is like $23 to Canada and like $30 elsewhere if you're not in the U.S. So should be given first class shipping as another option which would be more like six or seven dollars internationally which is a lot cheaper than you know 25 or 30. so if you are not in the u.s and you're looking to buy one of these pm me on here or email me through the toygamerprom.com website and we can work something out otherwise and just set up payment right through paypal or something like that so keep that in mind well, i don't need to get that launcher out right now let's focus on the bay once we get, show you it up close here, we'll actually do some spin tests as well. So right now, as it's mostly assembled right now, that is stamina mode as it lies right now, where you can see the bottom sticking out from the top. Whereas if you flip it around like that, and I actually put this on right, that would be attack mode, where it's more oblong looking. So. I'm gonna keep it in stamina mode. I think I'll, I may try a spin test in both modes in this video. I'll see how long it lasts. The video will end up being a lot longer because of that, but actually I may do that in a separate video just so this one's not too obscenely long. So get this all together. Now, if I remember, I think the total weight of the bay is about 56 grams, just to touch under that, like 55.9 something, I think. If I remember right, might be a little off. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't have a good gram scale to do that myself, so otherwise I would do that within the video as well. Something I should probably get one of these days, eh? So get all tightened up there. And that is a look at the assembled Flash Sagittario in stamina mode. Again, car told me they don't have the tattooed faces like Hasbro started doing. The Lawn 230 spin track, same as Flame Bixis, WD. Maybe I'll try battle with him against Flame Bixis or, like I mean to, use Flash Hedgetero and or Flame Bixis against the Tornado Bay the Battler. The Tornado Battlers are still a lot taller than the 230 WD spin track performance tip, but it's still something interesting to try out. Oh, there's the stickers. One of those went. So I'll, I'll stick the Lisa Facebook sticker on and we'll see how this looks in the actual stadium. All right, we got our BB-10 stadium set up here. I got all the stickers on Flash Sagittario. Give you a close-up look there. So right now we have them in stamina mode. So I'll show you how he performs in the stadium. Not gonna do it with any Beyblades this time, but three, two, one, go shoot. So you can see being a stamina type, it attracts itself to the middle very quickly and just kind of chills out there. So if it's facing attack type Bay, and if they don't launch it in like a flower-like pattern, it may circle and circle and then by the time it makes contact, won't have enough power left to take out Flash Hedgeterio. Now, we'll cut away here a second. We'll put him into attack mode and see how he performs then. Okay, and now we have Flash Sagittario in attack mode. There you can see, again, be more oblong in shape. So let's see how he acts in the stadium in attack mode. In 3, 2, 1, go shoot! 
Now, it is still a standby type bay, so even though it is an attack mode, it's still, as you can see, not really any difference as far as how it performs without any other bay blades around. So, no matter what mode you have it in, it looks like it will mainly just stay in the middle of the stadium. Obviously, the battle tactical stuff will be a little different when he's facing other bays, depending if he's attack or stamina mode. But as far as how it spins the stadium, it remains constant. So, that'll do it for our unboxing and review of Flash Sagittario. I'll have some battles featuring him very soon. Feel free to comment let me know which Beyblades you would like to see Flash Sagittario go up against. If you've seen a Beyblade unbox in this channel, I have it available for, ba have it available for battles. So those are basically your options. Pretty good selection. So in the meantime, if you haven't already, please subscribe. You can then get email alert for all of our future battles, unboxings, and more here on Beyblades 24-7. Give us a big thumbs up for another great Beyblade unboxing and review. Check out ToyGamingEmporium.com and or our Amazon store for all your toy and gaming and Beyblade needs. And also like us on Facebook, Facebook.com slash Beyblades 24-7. I'll probably be doing some sort of giveaways or contests on there very soon. So make sure you're subscribed and you like us on Facebook as those will be the main parameters and requirements for you to be qualified for any future giveaways or contests I may do. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you all next video. Thank <laughs> you.